Hello, Dr. Joe here of the AskDrJoe.org and the 2020 from.com. So, the other day I did a video on this very food here. These are prunes that I've got in this very cup. Prunes. And that video provoked quite a number of questions and I felt I should tackle those very questions in this very video. So, questions like, how many prunes should I eat a day? I've got the questions here. What is one serving of prunes? How many prunes should I eat for constipation? If I'm not used to eating prunes, how should I get started? Should I eat prunes in an empty stomach or with food? How many prunes can I eat in a sitting? Can a diabetic eat prunes? Do prunes contain added sugar? And finally, how can I apply prunes to my lifestyle? So we're going to be tackling those questions in this very video. But before we proceed, just a quick plug. This is my book on managing high blood pressure with lifestyle approach. Links to get the book right below this very video. So, question one, how many prunes should I eat a day? Well, you are allowed 50 grams of prunes a day. 50 grams of prunes a day. Now, what is 50 grams of prunes? Well, that equates to five to six prunes, depending on the size, because the sizes do vary. But generally speaking, about five to six prunes will constitute 50 grams of prunes a day. That is about how much you are allowed to eat. Now, can you eat more? Of course you can. It depends on how your body tolerates the prunes. If you love them, your body tolerates it, then of course you can have more. I do have more, okay? I eat 10. So, but that's just me. Uh, but of course you can also eat 10. It's up to you. It depends on how your body tolerates uh, the prunes, all right? But generally speaking, you allow 50 grams of prunes a day and that is five to six prunes. So that's question number one. Question number two, what is one serving of prunes? Well, one serving of prunes is what I've just told you, which is the 50 grams of prunes, and that equates to five to six prunes. That constitutes one serving. Next question, how many prunes should I eat for constipation? This is a very popular question, and also very relevant as well, because Prunes are particularly good for constipation. By virtue of the fact that they contain sorbitol, which has an osmotic effect in the bowel lumen, that means it pulls fluid into the bowel lumen and that softens the stools and also bulks up the stool, which means you empty you know, a lot more regularly. And uh, that's why prunes are really good for constipation because of that osmotic effect. So if prunes are good for constipation, how many do you need to uh, relieve constipation? Well, the same amount that I've just talked about earlier, which is the 50 grams, the five to six prunes, that's enough to help you move things along. Can you consume more? Of course you can, um, but don't push it too hard. If it's not working, here's something else you can do. You can also turn to prune juice, okay? Prune juice. How much of this do you need? Well, you need four ounces, which is 125 mils of the prune juice. That is another remedy, and uh, that comes in the form of prune juice. So five to six prunes are, are good for constipation. However, you can also turn to four ounces of prune juice or 125 mils. That will help you move things along. Of course you can you know, increase the dose a little bit, uh, but be careful. Now, as a medical doctor, I have to say this, if you are chronically constipated, then of course you need to seek help from your health professional, okay? So, you know, as a medical doctor, I, I need to put a caveat right there. You don't have to continue with at-home remedies. If they're not working, then you need to be investigated to make sure something else is not happening, all right? So that is how many prunes you need for constipation. Next question, if I'm not used to eating prunes, how should I get started? Okay, simple answer, start off slow. Okay, I just told you that you need to eat about six prunes a day. So uh, for somebody who is just starting off with prunes, start off with one and see how you react. If your body tolerates that, then you can increase it to two prunes 
and also see how your body adapts if your body adapts then uh, you know because you got to do that for a good number of days if your body adapts then you can step it up to four and here's what i would suggest if you're stepping it up to four then have two prunes in the morning then another two in the evening okay and of course if your body tolerates the four then step it up again to six prunes a day and also spread it out so have two in the morning another two in the afternoon and then another two prunes in the evening that's how to approach it if you're not used to eating prunes and you're just getting into the business of eating prunes right so what's the other question uh, should i eat prunes in an empty stomach or with food good question my personal preference or my advice to you will be that you should eat your prunes with your meals okay add them to your meals and uh, it's a lot easier for you to handle uh, that is what i will advise if you want to have them in an empty stomach that's up to you but my advice would be that you have the prunes with your meals because they are nourishing so you might as well add that piece of nutrition to the meal that you're having okay make sense good question how many prunes can i eat in a sitting that is up to you I eat all my prunes in one sitting uh, because I'm greedy so you know I'll have like 10 prunes in one sitting because I can really help myself I cannot stop myself once I start eating prunes because they're really tasty so I'll have the 8 or 10 in one sitting that's me however it's up to you you can uh, spread it out have two at a time and then uh, another two next time and then another two and then another two something like that okay so uh, spread it out uh, in fact i would suggest that maybe you just spread out morning afternoon and evening that way uh, you don't run into any uh, problems at all so that's how many prunes you can eat in a sitting next question very important question which is can a diabetic eat prunes the answer to that question is yes here's the thing prunes have a low glycemic index of 29 29 that's really low uh, surprising isn't it but that's the glycemic index of prunes so what that means is that prunes do not really impact your blood sugar very much they don't and uh, you know the other thing to note is that prunes they are a high fiber food and they are fat free so you know they're not really going to impact your, your your blood sugar because the fiber is there to slow down the blood sugar absorption and actually this has been tested so diabetics can consume prunes yes they can now here is the other thing i will add i spent the entire summer of this year giving you videos on how to reverse your type 2 diabetes because i want you guys to reverse your type 2 diabetes and stop worrying about can i eat this can i eat that you know because you can do it and the way to do it is not by eating fatty foods, you know, greasy foods and avoiding carbs. No, that's not the way to reverse your type 2 diabetes because when you do that, essentially you are sidestepping the issue. You will remain insulin resistant. So the approach that I gave to you guys during the summer months is the best way to approach reversing your type 2 diabetes. Uh, because by so doing, you are actually reversing your insulin resistance and that's what I want you guys to do, okay? anyway uh the videos are there uh please go watch them next question do prunes contain added sugar no they shouldn't okay they shouldn't really contain added sugar what i advise is this when you pick up your prunes packet from the supermarket shelf just have a quick look at the ingredients list if there's any sugar added put it back okay because prunes are tasty enough they don't need any sugar added to the prunes if any food manufacturer adds sugar to your prunes they don't deserve to have you as a customer all right so prunes should not have added sugar next question um how can i add prunes to my lifestyle very easy um you know you're only limited by your imagination so here are some quick examples for you you can add your prunes you know have them with your trail mix your nuts um, have them with your nuts very tasty you will love them add them to your oatmeal what's not to like lovely add your prunes to your soups add your prunes to your stews add your prunes to your casseroles add your prunes to your salads add your prunes to your smoothies 
you know, you just go crazy with the prunes, all right? So uh, there's no limit to what you can do with your prunes. Uh, you can even add them to your bacon as well, okay? So um, yeah, go ahead, just love your prunes, please, all right? So those are your prunes questions answered today in this very video. Hopefully you got some value from this very video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, please like the video, and also please share this video with your friends, with your family, and with your colleagues. Ask them to start consuming prunes. And uh, if you've got any questions, any comments, go ahead, leave your questions or comments down below. Also, don't forget to go to askdrjoe.org. Over there, you can ask questions. And also, show your support for this very channel. I think that's about it for this video. I've had fun <laughs> recording this video. Until next time, uh, this is Dr. Joe signing out. And it's time for me to have my prunes for today. Mm.